YouTube, YouTube. How y'all doing today, man? I got some yellow tails. Got a couple lobster tails fresh from the Bahamas. And some yellow tails, man. I'm finna clean these fish up. Hey, I'm up in the country, man. Up here in Mariana, Florida. Hey, boy, last time I was here at this house, boy, y'all, boy, boy, y'all rough, man. Y'all gave me a hard time with the water holes shooting everywhere and the fire got put out and my knife wasn't sharp. I'm ready now. I got my knife sharpener. I'm ready for you guys today, man. I'm gonna lay out some of the yellow tails. I'm gonna split these tails. I'm gonna fry them up for my pastor. Pastor Sam coming over here today. It's day his birthday. He just coming about to get some kunk fritters that I made and some kunk salad. But I'm gonna surprise him with some yellow tails and a couple of lobster tails. I'm gonna fry them up for him. You see, I got my fryer already sitting there waiting. And uh, this is what I'm gonna do today, man. Y'all stay tuned, man. I'm gonna fillet these fish out. And just, just hang in there for a minute. Hang it up for one minute. This is what I'm gonna do. I got my yellow tails. I use a regular household fault to scale them out. Y'all know I'm in the country, the flies and these bees is going crazy. Just scale them with a fault. It's a, it's a simple way of cleaning your fish, just scale them. See the scales flying off everywhere. I scale the head, I scale the everything, the tail, up underneath the stomach, the throat part, the fins. I just scale it all. Now you out here, in the, you out here, man. Flies everywhere. Look at the endless of bees. Look at the bees, man. I don't know where them come from. But I scale them up real nice. Let me get my pen. Y'all remember this old famous water hose, right? Well, it's that. I scale them. I wash them off with a scale them. Try to keep my little board clean. Try to do it fast as I can to get out, get out this yard for them flies won't take over. But once that cold come in, man, it get cold here in Mariana, Florida. I don't know if y'all know about Mariana, Florida. But man, they get down to the teens, like 16, 13. Pipes freeze up, pipes bust. But I scale it real good, scale the heads, I scale everything, man. Like I said earlier, just scale it good, get the scales off of it. Because me, when I'm eating fish, if I hit one scale, mm -hmm. I don't know. It'd be over for me almost, but I'd be like, God, y'all get. So that's what's going on. Get them scales off that fish good, man. It don't take long to scale them. Some nice yellow tails, man. We caught these yellow tails in Key West. But I had a friend of mine come from Bahamas to bring the uh, yellow tail. She bring me yellow tail. She bring me not yellow tail. She bring me the the lobster tails and the uh, kunk from Bahamas that her husband catch fresh. He a diver over there, and they bring me them fr fresh yellow, man, fresh. Uh, look at them lobster tails. They still still got soft feels. Fresh. In the uh, kunk meat. Y'all stay tuned later. I'm gonna show you them kunk fritters I'm gonna fry up. I'm gonna fry up for them when they get here. Him and his wife was to come by at one o'clock. And over here in Mariana, we are hour behind. I think we 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 are hour behind. And Miami's like eleven o'clock. They are here is ten o'clock. So we want hour behind. We on the west coast. So the thing is getting them yellow tails cleaned up, scale the head, man, I scale everything to their face. I don't like uh, being out long cleaning no fish because the flies, the more you clean, the longer you be, the more flies come. I, I try to use that pine oil and that bleach. They keep, they was worse than this. It was worse than this time I pulled that pine oil and bleach. That kind of took them away a little bit. Okay. They ain't take long to scale them up, right? Clean my little board. Wash them filters down. Put some water in that pan. Now we can get to the good part. Gut them out. Fill that pan up with the water. Oh, there go my water holes. <laughs> hey. That's gonna be my signature, right? You make sure that knife good and sharp. 
I better, I better shop this round. I don't know what kind of bum, what kind of bees them are. But I used to get my knife. I go back over it again. Got some of the scales I, I missed. And uh, what I'm gonna do? I go right down the stomach part and go all the way up to the throat. Open that, open that throat up. Like that, pull them gills out. Oh, look at he's full of oatmeal. What we was charming the water with oatmeal's and charm. Pull that throat out. Got my little bucket. I get my fork. I clean that backbone out with that blood line there with that fork. Now let my water do the rest. Blow it out. I blow all that, I blow all that blood out of his head, his throat, his stomach part. Look at that, look how clean the white that is. Look at that. I blow it all the way out. You can help it cook better, I strip it. Like that, just strip it. And also help the season to go down in it a lot better. That's how a lot of them do it in Miami. Just strip it. See how thick of that meat. You go down there to season it, that stuff go all the way through. They should enjoy these jokers here, man. We just caught these last week. Pull that coke out. Snatch that throat out and them gills. Look at that. Drop them guts in my bucket if I could get rid of them. These little bumblebees, they going crazy. And get some fault. Go down that bloodline on that backbone. That way you open that little vein up. You got a you got like a piece of skin over it, the bloodline. So you gotta pull it off with the fault. Then you get your nice little hose compression. And you blow that fish out good. You blow it out real good. You gotta clean that fish good, man. I don't care. I don't play with that fish. I keep it. I got. I like clean, clean, clean fish. That's why I lost them. I don't eat everybody fish because everybody don't know how to clean fish, man. I'm telling you, they don't. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Nice and clean and filleted out. Not well, not filleted out, but I'm gonna strip them. I'm gonna strip them all. It'd be easy for the fry. I'm gonna strip two, and I'm gonna fillet two out. Just strip them out. Nice and simple, nothing complicated. Disconnected. It's Friday, baby. And I'm chilling today. I ain't stressing them, man. Life is too short to stress Nothing. out. Life is too short to stress out. So, take one day at a time. Make it do what it do. Man, don't stress yourself out because what you don't got ain't going to worry. It ain't going to help pay the bills. Stress, it ain't going to make things better. So what you do, you just, hey, put it in God. Hey, you pray about it. Put it before God and let it stay there. Just put it there. Let God work it out. Trust me. If he don't do it, it ain't going to be done no way. Right? Clean that backbone out. Open that little blood line up, that fork. You can use a fork or a knife. Clean, you gotta clean that bloodline out. That changed the whole taste of the fish, really. Now I'm gonna fillet this one out. What I do, wait, wait, go inside. I go right down that fin, down that backbone, and just open it up. Go down that real cage. Crack them bones in the real cage. You hear it cracking? I go all the way up to the head, man. I just split the whole head. Watch this. Now look at that. Look at that. Ain't that beautiful? Open the whole thing up. Get that water hole. I don't be wanting to see no blood or nothing when I finish. Look at that joker. That's a beautiful fish, man. Good grass. Yellow tail snapper.
And I still strip the thick part across the backbone. Like I say, help the season go in it. And they have to, uh, man, they're gonna be a man, imagine hit that deep fryer. They're gonna be some good eating there, baby. Mm. Mm. Open that head up, grab them gills, snatch them gills out. And usually when you snatch them gills out, everything basically sometimes come out with it. See there? Like the whole, everything came out that round. Drop it in my bucket, get my fault. Open that blood, that black, open that blood line up. So when you hit that pressure, hit it, it all will come out clean. I gotta throw some bleach out here when I finish, man. If not, it's gonna be fishy smelling the day. It's still early, so. But the day supposed to be nice, it's supposed to get higher than 80. Wash it out good, nice and clean. Like I said earlier, I go right there where I where I gut them at, started gutting that, go down that fin, come down to the tail, like that. Then you split it. Crack that, crack them bones. Hit them bones cracking in there down that real cage. I go all the way through the head. Look at that. See how it open up? Look how that open up. Nice, right? That is, that's called butterfly open. I scrip it with my seasoning, my lemon juice and stuff will go down in that thing good. And that's that. I got, look at that. Butterfly open nice. Look at that clean glassy meat. And the other one just scripted out. Just gonna deep fry it, strip it out, just let it drop. Something like it like that. Now the lobster tails, you gotta clean your lobsters. People don't believe this here. But lobster got lobster's got a blood, got a little vein going down the backbone that's full of trash. You know, just like a shrimp. You know how you debane a shrimp? The same way you debane a lobster. I'm gonna chop that little cleave up, this small cleave up a little bit. But I do, I used to go right, go right to the top of the of it. I just crack it down. Just split it down the middle. Look at that. Let me show you something. So lots of people don't know this here, though. Look. See that, look? That's his, that's his intestines. I just, I just snatched it out. Open it up. Wash it out good. I'm going to decide how I'm going to do this. I'm going to put this in the oven. Or I was going to deep fry them, too. I'm going to decide to still. So anyway, go down the top. Crack it. It ain't hard, especially when the lobster fresh. See that little vein? It's a little vein right down the middle of them. That you gotta pull out. Man, you gotta clean your food good. Especially these days, all this stuff in these foods, they're giving them all kind of antibiotics and hormones and all kind of stuff in our food. Seafood full of mercury. Man, we we really killing ourselves. Look at that. All that meat. But I get that blood, get that lamp, get that vein out the middle. It's intestine system out that middle. Pull it out. Sometimes when I leave, when I don't split it, I go go right, go right here, down to this bottom part. I, I, I stick a sharp, something sharp in there and pull this intestines, pull this intestines out the same way. Rinse that sucker down. Look at that meat. Look at that joker. Wee! I think I'm gonna put these in the oven. Let them cook slow. Put some butter on top. They're gonna be some good eating there. Look at that joker there. That's a big boy there. Look at that. Clean meat, man. Now imagine that laying there in the bacon pan, let it bake slow and glaze it with some butter and garlic. Oh man, mama. Pull that vein out, get that vein out of that fish, man. Wow. 
my shit. Clean my board up good. Clean my knife. Hey, you gotta take care of your knife. Take care of your knife. They take care of you. That's why I took y'all in the house with me to let y'all watch me season them too, right? Let's do it. Oh man, I tell you. It's the cleanup. I don't want flies on here all day. Let me let y'all see something. Check this out. Look at it. I don't know what kind of bees them are. Look at that joker there, man. That's clean, nice, clean fish and lobsters. We finna go, hey, we finna go in. Y'all stay tuned. I'm gonna let y'all watch me season them up. You too, you too. Just want y'all to see what I got going on. Now that's the same yellowtail. Got them seasoned up. Got the lobsters, I'm gonna drop them in the oven. Think that'd be better. Man, I'm finna make it do what it do. I got my little conch salad. Y'all don't know about no conch salad, do you? Got that conch salad ready, man. <laughs> You think he just coming by for some conch salad and some uh, uh, conch fritters? A conch fritter better ready. That's what he think he just coming by for. But I got them hooked. I got them hooked. That's what I cooked yesterday. That's mine. I'm gonna eat that. But I got them hooked up. I'm gonna take care of my man, man. He a good guy. All right, see you guys soon. That yellow tail. Mm -hmm. Hey y'all, this how we do it. Welcome to the country. <laughs> hey man, gotta do what you gotta do. YouTube, this is how we doing it. This is how I'm doing it for my pastor, Mariana. I'm hooking them up. Look at them lobsters. Oh, 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 oh. You got me hooked. We got grits with cheese. YouTube, YouTube. Hey man, we thank you for visiting the fishing in the hood. Hey, this wouldn't be possible without you guys viewing it. I hope we do something that's edifying, not only to your body, but to your soul. And uh, that's the main purpose, man. We want to reach people all over. we we'll be concerned about people in their soul. We live in the last days and Jesus is soon to come. I don't care what you believe, Jesus is soon to come. And we love you guys, man. And uh, you pray for us, we'll pray for you. And you watch God work things out. Love you guys, see you soon.